Okay, so now let's move on. Let's talk about Wendy Williams. How you doing? So, Wendy Williams' best friend, Wanda, you know, is opening up about her good Judy, Wendy Williams, who we already know has the frontal temporal aphasia and the dementia and all that other stuff when she's been going through things. So I think Wanda went and did an interview with News Nation, and I think she talked to Chris Cuomo, and she was talking, and he was, she was basically talking about Wendy Williams. I don't have that clip. I couldn't, I was like, I wasn't really looking for it, but I do have the full article, so let's just go through it. So, you know, they said, after Wendy's Guardian revealed the media personnel is getting treatment in an undisclosed location, Williams's best friend Regina Shell believes the outspoken star has been forced into silence after not hearing from her publicly in over a year. So in her first ever long form interview, Regina, Wendy's best friend of 44 years, who lived with her throughout the summer of 2022, questions what is going on with her famous pal, saying, I want people to know that Wendy is a real person and this is not some karma as is a bitch thing. Which is what a lot of people have been saying when it comes to Wendy Williams, because she made a whole living of talking celebrity news and gossip, talking about celebrities and putting people's tea that they didn't want to put out there, out there. And so now people are saying because of what's happening to Wendy, that's karma. Um, Wendy's always had kind of like some health issues or whatever the case was, but also her dementia is due to the fact of her excessive drinking, which I didn't even know that that was a thing, that you could get dementia by drinking heavily. But then again, it makes sense because when you drink heavily, if, you, if you're if you someone who blacks out, you know, you're a blackout drunk, where it's like you pass out and then you can't remember what happened, that's causing parts in your brain to just be like, you're forgetting things, which could cause deterioration. So now like I'm learning about this, I'm like, well, damn, um, I'd be scared to have a drink. Well, if I was excessive like she was, but anyway, so, Taking, I mean, talking is Wendy's life. Her whole claim to fame is talking, and I don't think she would be this quiet unless she was forced to be quiet. Meanwhile, another insider close to Wendy mentioned that the star was publicly vocal about how she found the guardianship she is in to be problematic before disappearing from the public in May of last year, saying there is no way in hell that she would not have responded to that Lifetime documentary with all her family members appearing in it. Well, I don't think that she would have done the documentary. First of all, Wendy ain't never want nobody in her damn house. She said that when she was on, um, you know, when back when she was coherent. She said, mm -mm, I, I don't want people in my house. I don't want people. I would never show people what I look like without my wig on. And then we saw the episode of the of the of the uh, reality docu series with Black China, and she takes her wig off, giving us full on ET realness, and. We all gagged. I was like, okay, now Wendy is clearly out of it because she would never allow this side of herself to be seen. But also, when you are someone who is desperate for money, who has, doesn't have access to your money, who spends all day, every day as their brain is deteriorating, you're self-medicating. And you've got a bunch of vultures around you who are talking you into, you know, these deals that you shouldn't even be doing because money, 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 money. Money. Um, what else are you gonna do but go along with it? So clearly she wasn't all there, but because and then Sabrina, you know, the the guardian tried to play over, oh my god, I didn't know all this stuff was happening. But if nothing can get past you without your permission, how you didn't know what this was gonna be? So I call Cap on that. And also I'm side eyeing her about Wendy's money. So it's a lifetime, you know, she they aired the documentary on Wendy's life. In a four-part series exploring her battle with alcohol, her health and cognitive decline. And that's where it was at the point. It was like her brain was on her, you know, her cognitiveness, her brain and everything was on a decline. So yeah, she's going to just be like, okay, I'll do it, not understanding what's going on. And it says in the guardianship, she has been under since early 2022. The star's pain friend, Regina, went on to ask several pressing questions after the star was last seen publicly in May of 2023, saying, where is Wendy and why is no one asking the question? And why is no one answering the question? Why can't they produce Wendy or an actual statement from Wendy or a picture of Wendy? Where is Wendy? And she said, I haven't spoken to my friend who I spoke to five times a day in over a year. Regina explained that during the summer of 2022, as it became clear, Wendy was losing her wildly popular daytime talk show while she battled myriad health issues. She was staying with the TV host at her penthouse apartment in New York City. 
saying, I stayed with Wendy on and off for that entire summer, from June of 2022 until August. I left and I went home briefly and came back in September, and then she came out to California in October, and I went back to New York in December. I spent the majority of the year with her. This is what she claimed. So, um, she also went and did an interview, because I'm trying to look for it, um, it says that, um, oh, wait, and also I forget to, to mention, I probably mentioned this prior, that the apartment that she was staying in, I think the one that we saw in the, in the reality show, it was sold. And so, um, and then her family went on the Lifetime series and was trying to expose, you know, a bunch of people on there as taking advantage of her. And they're all saying that they don't know where Wendy is and they need to, they want to find out where she is. And then also... Um, they said the 59 year old best friend also questioned how Wendy, who she spoke to her numerous times a day, hasn't called her in over a year since vanishing from the spotlight, saying she's somewhere that she can't reach a phone because Wendy can always get to a phone because if she could get to a phone, she'd be calling me. Wendy's sister Wanda said during the docuseries and subsequent interviews that the star would occasionally call her, but that she wasn't able to call Wendy herself as she didn't have a number for her, which I would also think that why hasn't the, why hasn't Sabrina, the guardian, you know, found a way for Wendy to keep in contact with, those who actually care about her or concern, like her family members, her close friend like Regina, and all that stuff. Keep her away from uh, Daddy Kevin Hunter, the ex-husband. There's no good ass. Keep her away from him. He don't need her number. But her son should have access to his mother. The siblings, um, you know, Wanda should be able to have access to her sister. And her brother should be able to have access, even though some people feel like he's an opportunist. Her father should have access. So those who are close in the circle should be, and her niece, who's the report, who's the newscaster, they should all have that um, access. So she had briefly appeared on News Nation in the aftermath of the documentary about what she saw while living with Wendy in 2022, and she lashed out at The Guardian in the chat, saying, when I was in New York and staying with Wendy in the summer, I noticed when she would call, she had no access to her money. This is what she told Chris Cuomo, saying, so every time she had to do anything that she had to pay for, she had to go through The Guardian. Regina also accused The Guardian Sabrina of taking hours to get Wendy food, saying she went on to explain that when Wendy would order her breakfast early in the morning, Sabrina would take the order, but sometimes it, would show, it wouldn't show up until several hours later. So Wendy wouldn't have any food. It apparently got so bad, Regina took matters into her own hands, personally sent needed supplies to Wendy. When I went back to L.A., I would have to spend, send her food from Los Angeles to New York from a delivery service because she wasn't getting, the communication wasn't there. And she had no other access to money other than this Guardian. Regina made similar claims about the Guardian's alleged inability to provide Wendy with food in her interview with the U.S. Sun. And they said the best friend claimed she also had a Chewy account to order Wendy's cats chit chat in my way food as the Guardian was remiss in those food orders as well. She's also wondering where Wendy's cats even are. So this is a hot ass mess. Um we definitely need to um, oh yeah, that's why I told her. I told her there was some tea coming out about I'm I went on YouTube and now I'm seeing tea about um Kenya Moore being fired from you know the housewives. But I said um, we're gonna talk about that another damn time. But um so yeah, it's unfortunate that this is what is happening right now and all this other stuff. So I don't get it. Um I feel for my girl Wendy Williams. I don't like what's happening with that. Like, we definitely need to know what's going on with Miss Mamas. And Wendy, you know, is someone, like I've said so many times in the past, is somebody who I was, who has been an inspiration for me as a, you know, celebrity news gossiper, someone who does pop culture topics, that sort of thing. Like, she's always been, like, the GOAT in that regard. And it's sad to see, like, this is basically where her life actually has ended up. Like, she has just become, like, this woman who has just become a shell of herself. And I feel like if you're a guardian trying to be in the best interest of the person that you're gu you're guarding, you should be doing whatever you can to possibly help them and not trying to suck out all their money, 
to be trying to do all these things to them and not giving them the help that they need. Like, where, how was Wendy having access to all this alcohol and basically self-medicating? And that's how she was getting the food and she was losing all this weight and going through all of these things. And, you know, I definitely feel for her right now. And I hope that she's getting the help that she needs. I hope that, you know, we find out soon where Wendy Williams is because it is definitely something that we are, you know, I, at the end of the day, I'm rooting for her. So, um, let me know what you guys think of, oh, so let me turn that off. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this story down below.